guess who's back? Back again. Yes, that's right, guys. Welcome back to the WHU Pulse. And you're probably thinking, why am I doing this? But I'm going to be doing a career mode until the end of FIFA 18 for FIFA 19 to come out. And then that is when the real content will come. It's a Super League career mode, as you can see. The teams are in the Premier League. The teams are in the Championship. The teams are in League One. My team is in this league. And then you got League Two. All the leagues are very tough. All of them are competitive. And we're going to see who is the best team in Europe. But like I said, my team is in League One. It's a tough team to use. It's a team that doesn't very rarely, like you see on YouTube, it's because they don't have a league. It's Shattered and Exc people. And, like, and I've picked this league because it is a competitive looking league. Ajax, Fenerbahce, Feyenoord, Fiorentina, Galatasaray. Teams like that. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be fun. But we're going to see if we can reach Europe's elite in a league format. Now I'm going to show you the most important domestic success objective. Fight for promotion, I'm going to be aiming to get to playoffs. If we get to the playoffs, I think it will be success. If we go up, if we have to spend another season in this league, it's we're going to be facing tough teams all the time. So, plus the fact, I've got the FA Cup, so we may end up still playing the Real Madrid, the Man United, the teams like that. Reach the round of 32 and then win the league in three seasons. I'm aiming to go up in two, possibly even the first season, because this is a good team. Now, the reason why I say this is that I've already set up the team how we're going to want to play. I'm going to want to play a 4-2-3-1. Ferreira up front, good striker. Okay, maybe on a bit of the slow side, okay, and maybe not even that strong. But he is a good finisher. And I feel like in the lower leagues of this career, you need a good striker who can finish. You don't need a pacey, maybe we we'll maybe look to bring in a pacey striker within the transfer window, and that's where you guys are going to come in. But he is a good striker. We've got the three creative players who are going to really bring this team alive in Marlos, Tyson and Bernard as the three guys that are going to drive us forward up the pitch. We've got Stepenko who is going to sit. You've got Fred who's going to be box to box who has just been signed by Man United. So it's a good... I mean, his stats are going to be ridiculous. FIFA 19, this guy is going to be ridiculous. Yes, all right, he's only 5'7", but look at like 8th of short pass. Like, he's got everything in a centre midfielder. I'm going to swap him around because he's left-footed, so we can play on the left. We've got Ismaili left-back, Rakitsky right-back, Ordets, Rakitsky left-centre-back, I meant. Ordets right-centre-back, Butko right-back, and then Piatov in goal. Now, and then we've got good players like Coyote, who is a pacey striker. Maybe could be the super sub, second choice striker. You've got Kovalenko, and then you've got Shevchenko, and everyone else in this team. You've got Dodo, good right back there. But we're going to go over to the squad hub to see where this team needs to improve. I'm going to be selling. But reason with transfers, what reason for transfers, I'll go on the search players. I'm only allowed to buy players from... These four leagues, the Championship, League One, League Two, and the Premier League. This is because this is the league with all the players in. The, all, all the, these are the Super League teams. So I'm only going to be able to buy. So I can't buy anyone from Brighton, so to speak, who isn't in this. I'm sorry, Brighton, you didn't make it. But that's because I used this league off Reddit. So I thought, I'll instead of me creating this whole thing by myself... I'll go on Reddit, see what they say. So I used it off that. So we're going to be buying players that are already in the lower leagues. You've got like Saint Etienne. You've got look at the teams in League Two that aren't like Atalanta. I'm pretty. There's Alms at Bournemouth. You've got Cheska Moscova, Krasnodar, Genoa, Hamburg, and then you've got Newcastle down there as well. <sighs> Sorry, I'm bit first it is a very hot day olympiacos psv sampadoria like that is a tough league and there are going to be some good players that we can get scout from down those lower leagues so you got ajax like ajax in our league that is just how tough these leagues are 
But I need to go have a look and see what we're going to do with these players, I guess. So in goal, we've got Piatov, starting number one. We'll be okay for the first year. He's a good goalkeeper. Shevchenko, back up. Good goalkeeper. 24, could grow, but we'll use him as the backup now. Right backs. We've got Butko and Dodo. They're good. Dodo's 18, so he's got potential to grow. Butko is good and got potential to grow again. Uh, we've got Ivan Auditz, Rakitsky, Kochalava, and Krivtsov. I'm very sorry about my pronunciation. I'm very, very sorry if I'm the names. If you put it in the comments below, say, maybe, like, do it. Space out. I can't remember the word for it, but you probably know what I mean. Hopefully. But, yeah. Four good centre-backs for the level. Rakitsky and all that as starters. Kristoff to come in and then Kuchelava to come in if desperately needed. Maybe playing the Johnson play trophy. Check a trade trophy is the name of it now. Uh, we've got Ismale and Mativienko. So 21 66. I don't think he's going to cut it. I may be looking for a backup left back. Put that in the comments below. Any ideas? Centre midfield Stepenko. Maslevich, Grashinsky and Fred. Four good options that are going to stay. We've got Marlos, Bernard on the wingers with Petriak as a very like third choice. We've got Alan Patrick, Wellington Nem, Zobkov, Dentino and Kovalenko and Tyson is cammed. But I'm going to be using these out on the wing. Kovalenko I think is pacey and then... I'd use them out on the wing when needed. So, And then up front, we've got Blanco Leschuk, Coyote, and Ferreira. I'm going to be looking for a left-back, a backup left-back. But I also want that striker to carry us through this year, to link up with the main men of Tyson, Bernard, and Marlos. I think the defence is good. I think the goalkeeper's fine for the year. I want a backup left-back. And I want... <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> and I want a very good striker. So we're going to go have a look. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to the transfer market. I don't know what they've got set up on the GTN, really. I mean, we've got striker, pacey, any team. Striker first in colour. Let's just have a look at this quickly. Musa Moragan now. He is actually a good striker. I'm actually going to... And to shortlist. Kalechi, Unau, Jonathan Caleri could be a good striker. Z Lewis, uh, Defrel, Ayu, Santo, Kalinic, Wagner. Yeah, Morega and Caleri are good options. I think Morega could be a very good option. I mean, he's pacey, he's strong, he can finish. I like the sound of Musa Morega. If we can get him on a cheap, then I'm happy. But I'm going to be looking for a backup left back. So he doesn't have to be first in quality. Yes, he does. Yeah, I don't. I, use, I like using the GTN because I don't have the best knowledge, especially. I like to find new players. Like at the start of the game, I buy the same players, good players, and stuff like that. But maybe I don't use that. Maybe I go search players and just search through the leagues myself. That maybe could be the best option. So we're going to go defence. We're going to go left back. We're going to go up to the Premier League. Now, we'll go 27. 28. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, this game's so slow. Right, yeah. 28 left back from the Premier League. Now, we're going to have a look. We're going to... Medi Benedina. Maybe just joined. Juan Bernat could be an option. Not Nicholas Best, Daily Blind. As a starter, he'd come in as low. So, Dalbert, Carroll, Damian, Davies. No one's jumping out. Thea Hernandez. Mendy, Martina. See, oh, Alberto Moreno now. 
he would be able to fit in down at this league because they're not the best. And yes, right, he is not the best defender. But he could maybe do something for us down here. Now, this is a league which I'm interested in. Jordan Lamarvi, I know he may have just joined, but he is a good player. I, I could see him maybe playing for us, maybe down the future. Got Gerhard, Guy. See, these are all good players. Like, Grimaldo is a very, very good left back. As you can see, like, you've got Johnny, Lato, Martin. You've got good players. Oh, Nabilelin. Nabu. Nabilelin. Yeah. And then, like, they're all good players. Teles would be a dream move. Wendell, William, Ziegel, Arwood. Ugh. Now, the players from our league now, I'm interested to see it there. This is basically me scouting out the competition now. Antonio Barreca, if I could weaken the teams in my league, I think I'd see that as a success. We've got Deji Osman, Colley, Baragi Dix, or Jizix. Dermiz, he's a good left back. I'll scout him. Kieran Gibbs. Rodrigo Haps. That's where Haps is now, Final Ward. I might have a look at him. I don't know. Maybe not, I lie. At left back. No one's really jumping out. This is the problem. If you guys have got any suggestions of like left backs or strikers that I could sign with the money we have, I'll take it on board. Because obviously I want you to get involved. Sink Graven could be a good option as a backup. Jetro Williams or Wilhelms. Van Anhol, maybe. Pacey, good player. But yeah, if you've got any options of like strikers or left backs, or maybe any positions where else we do need to sign, maybe you could let me know. <sighs> but I'm just going to scout. I'm letting you. I want this. This first episode is going to be raw, not edited at all. Just see how it goes. My Macedo Hydara doesn't really get played at Newcastle. And a, he's a good player on FIFA. He's pacey, so. Manquilo, Massini. He's the guy who's just joined Watford. Foreshadowing for my Premier League predictions video that may come out. I've got the draft. I've got everything sorted. But I'm thinking, do I release it at the end of the transfer window? Or do I release it now? And then do I follow up what one? So, I just, again, drop your opinions down in the comments below. But as we're doing this, can't find anyone really that I'm interested in. So, yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, on the transfer hub, what the left-backs we got were Benat, Moreno, Amavi, Bereka, Demizzi, Sinkgrav, and Van Anhol, and Hydara. Strikers, right, so we know Caleri would be between 12 and 14 million. That's fair enough, but I want to know his overall. Morega is the striker I want to go after, though. He's pacey, he's strong, good finisher. Then left back, we'll wait for all the uh, scout ports to come back. There's a £15 million release clause on Alberto Moreno, so that could be an option. I'm not going to get Van Anholt. So we'll wait for all the scout ports to come back. And in the meantime, I'm just going to be talking to you guys, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll just see him a couple of days. We've got our July um, uh, pre-season tournament. We've got Genoa, Darmstadt and Olympiacos. I believe Genoa and Olympiacos are in the league below us. So, again, tough. Well, we've got two transfer offers. We've got Ivan Petriak. A left, our backup left mid. I'm going to reject that. But, Bernard, 14 million. I don't want to sell him, but if they offered like 25, maybe around that area, um, I'd, I'd accept it. 25. I do think Bernard's contract is running out, so I may have to go double check that. I don't want to sell Bernard, but if you again, Napoli, if you give me 25, I'll take it. Nope. Okay. They obviously, I, I'm not going to sell him, like I said, 25 million. But I do want to go double check that. He is fine with contracts. And that's actually a very fair point. Because I don't want to be losing anyone important on contracts at the end of the year. And there are a lot of people. So, Shevchenko. We'll go through contract, 
contract negotiation now. <laughs> I actually know. Right, Meleshev, Krushitskian. Actually, no, I'm going to give all these guys contracts. Yeah. Delegate renewal. Uh, don't go higher. Uh, you can sign off the... I've never done this before, so yeah, sure. Delegate. Uh, don't go higher. Yep. Oh, okay, right. No, okay. We're going to be doing our contract negotiation for... I can't remember who this was. Grishishkin. So, yeah, rotation. That's fine. Uh, contract length. How old is he? 25. So, we'll give him a three-year deal. Sorry if you wanted to skip, uh, watch these, but I just want to get these contract negotiations over and done with. Uh, salary, right, he's on 10k a week. I'll offer him the same. No additional fees, no whatever. Okay, he wants to drop in wage. That's fair enough. Right, Bernard is the one I want to keep, though. Delegate renewal. That's yes. That's a yes. Nem. Yep, yep. Again, they're not going up in wages that much. If if I have, then I'll just have to sort this out. Sorry if I'm not reading this. I really like just want to sort all these out. 23, that's fine. That's everyone's contract sorted. What's that done to the transfer budget? We're on 63k now. Right, we've got 20 million. So that's 10 million per player, really. So we'll keep some. I'll let this video get to about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Maybe, yeah, 20 minutes and then I'll stop recording. Facundo Ferreira now. If athletic Bill, or af yes, if it is Athletic Bill. If Athletic Bill Bow want to give me 15 million, then I will go sell him. Because, yes, all right, he is a good striker and I said I would like to keep him. But if they're going to pay 15 million, then. Oh, no, okay. I obviously don't feel like Ferreira's worth that much. Your loss. They'll rue that when we come to play them in the FA Cup or Capital One Cup. And he goes and scores. But we're going to do training. Need to keep up with this. So, Bernard's 24. I may. I want to improve his finishing. So, we'll do Bernard. Young centre-backs. We've got audits. Good. Audits on advanced defending. We've got Fred. Fred is going to be on... What's his defending? His defending isn't the best, so we'll do his defending. Uh, Kovalenko. Could be good. I'm not going to do dribble possession. Again, he needs to work on his finishing. And then last one. Ah, we'll do Coyote, I guess. Yeah, we'll do Coyote. Taxi scenarios. He's a striker, and he needs to improve his... Worthy attributes. So, yeah, we'll do that. <sighs> so, I've got two minutes left of this video, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it so far. Sorry if it's been a bit boring. And sorry if it's any audio qualities. It's a hot day again. So, my window's open. Fan is on. Sorry if that's picked up. But maybe we can get through the end of the preseason group. And that I will end it there. So we've got final scout report on Jonathan Caleri, 77 rated, same rating as Ferrara, I think. When you about 12, 12, 12, so about 12 days. So I may, yeah, I'll sim 12 days. No, I won't. Yes, I will. I'll sim until we get the scout reports back for you guys, and then we can. See what you guys say in the comment section below of who I should buy, like the prices and stuff like that. But we have got to deal with all this. Got Matt, Matt Vienko. He's my backup left back that I did say I want to sell. So, yep, he can go to Oxford, who I believe I put in the Turkish League. I think maybe. I'm not sure. But international management not interested in at the moment in time. You're being sold, son. So... Yeah. <laughs> right, Olympiacos is going to be a tough game. See if we can run out winners. 3-1 winners. So I do believe that means we're through the group, I want to say. Yes, no, we're not through the group. I lie. 
So, but we'll send them to the Genoa game, see scout reports come back. What we've got here, all I can find from Poland, I'm not really looking. Like I said, I'm only buying the players from the four leagues in this career mode. Chapter versus Genoa. If we get a draw, we're through, and we're through three nil winners. Marlos with two. All right, we're seeming good. We're seeming in good shape for the season. But I'm gonna end it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of the series. Like I said, this will be up, hopefully regularly-ish. Good. Premier League predictions may come out, maybe not. I'm still debating on that in my head. Let me know if you want to see them. More of this will be coming. Remember, 27th, let's play is starting. And then it's all building up to what might be coming in FIFA 19, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you later.